Alright fellas, let's get this. Um, I just hope the camera doesn't run out of battery, so I'm gonna be quick. But, right, this is the situation. So, uh, I went out with this girl the other day, and uh, standard, like, fucking, I think it was Tinder, I think it was Tinder, uh, and just literally went for a coffee with her, and she was cool and that, but I found out that she, I found out that she had a blog, right, she just let us do the short blog, and I thought, well, maybe that'd be interesting to check out, check it out, turns out it's about fucking dating, right, and it turns out, there's a fucking full review of Joey D's little fucking interaction. Um, I'm called Ted, apparently, because this is just, I assume it's just to preserve, you know. Anyway, so I'm gonna read you this review of a Joey D date. Fuck me, I'm a sick fuck. Okay, listen. First dates I have down, the pleasantries, the conversation piece, pieces. I'm even getting better at this whole flirting thing. I'll just show you, no. Yo. Uh, I'm even getting better at this whole flirting thing. Then I met Ted, and he caught me completely off guard. It's just what I do, boys. He's good looking, has an awesome body, and works in fitness. I assumed he'd be quite arrogant and egotistical. And I was right to a degree. <laughs> Cheeky fuck. But he does it in such an endearing way, it comes across quite charming. He's clever. I know, it was extremely rude of me to stereotype someone I had not met. That's what you get for being a fucking lifter and putting top of the selfies on fucking Instagram. Um, and the conversation had substance, at least from him anyway. I was dumbstruck and must have come across like a right idiot, smiling like a fool, whilst he was discussing the meaning of life. Okay, maybe not that, but you get the idea. He engaged with an old couple who sat nearby, put his chewing gum in the bin. Is that something, putting his chewing gum in the bin? And boy, did he make me laugh. Boy, funny fuck me, how sick am I? Everyone should go on dates with fucking Joey D. Uh, most of it was internal laughter where he would have just, where he would have just noticed me gawking at him whilst looking like the Cheshire cat. But his compliment of, this is my best line, man. His compliment of, you look all right for someone who doesn't go to the gym. <laughs> Genu genuinely nearly made, me, made my drink come out of my nose. Yeah, that was a good line, I thought. Pretty good uh, compliment, that. Some of my best work. <clears throat> he reads, he likes libraries. I don't like them that much. I said they're all right, fucking hell. And he questions everything and its logic. He has the same birthday as Dean. Who the fuck is Dean? Where is he? I'm gonna beat him up. He told me I look like Taylor Momsen. She does a bit. Uh, and was charming as ever. He swears like a trooper. Fair one. And I'm pretty certain he's the kind of guy I should avoid at all costs. Yes, you fucking should. But you know me, why do Geminis have this effect on me? Oh, Geminis, is this that fucking means anything? Uh, I made him walk me to my car. No, he didn't, I fucking offered. Turns out he lives by my work, convenience, and we parted ways. I was pretty certain my two hour brainless mode had scuppered my chances, had scuppered any chances of a second date. I don't do fucking dates, I do appointments. But today he called and asked. Yes, an actual phone call. Always phone calls, fellas. Building fucking rapport. Greg would be proud, who the fuck is Greg? I agreed and it looks like we're doing something Thursday, watch this space. Just wanted to check in and uh, let you all know how fucking cool I am, like, just wowing people on dates and that, so, you know, babes, get at me, date vibes, let's go. What's happening, fellas? It's a fucking beautiful day, and I uh, just want to fucking document it, because, like, every other fucking day, it's, uh... It's so the first day of the rest of our vibey fucking lives, isn't it? And, you know, I think we're all in a good fucking position to uh, be fucking optimists. And, you know, whatever happens, I reckon we're just gonna fucking vibe all the way to the fucking top, like. And, that's probably it. Um, I'm gonna go and, uh, I'm gonna go and win.
in. Let them out. Bicep. <clears throat> Just a fucking naughty little feely tune, man. You don't know, I've got hat hair. Shit. Can't put this in the vlogs, we've got hat hair. Anyway, checking in with that vibey fucking tune. Don't know what the law is on filming yourself while you're driving. It's probably a felony. Later, bros. Bicep that. Classic. That's what like fitness people do, isn't it? Just sign out with like a bicep shot. I think that's like the dumb thing. Okay, see you later. This is what it's about, waking up every fucking morning. Just looking like a sick fucking guy, smashing the fuck out of life, man. So, so, so naughty. Coffee, man. It's the juice of the alpha male. Let's do it. Okay, so we're planning a party and um, we're just thinking of ha different ways to get abstract. So far we've got, that's not, they're not for the party, they're just, so far we've got, we got some noodles, like, so, we don't know what we're going to do with them, but we might, we might just buy a box, but it looks suspect buying, like, Johnny's and, and like, kids' toys together in one, in one shop. And then, and then a fishing net. Yeah, and a fishing net as well. We should definitely get the fishing net, though. The birds. Yeah. Um, I call it the wallet snatcher. <laughs> right, yeah, we're still gonna get abstract, man. We'll keep you posted. That'd be sad, that. We're gonna get columns. Did you even put them like that? So it's just the buttons. Like, yeah, like. yeah, you could get a lot of like weird, yeah. What about hula hoops? Special K? We could just sky a special K everywhere. It's gotta be weird shit. Yes. Do you wanna put compost everywhere? Right, let's get this fucking box anyway, man. Pick that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Put the nodders in there. Continuing with the abstract theme, we're, um, we um discovered a gazebo. We're gonna get it and hope it fits in our apartment. And just make shit weird, man. It's gonna be like the mind fuckiest party ever. It's what we do, lad. It's gonna be a fucking abstract no party, one, man. No one's, no one's doing this, man. This is wavy shit. Two of them, yeah. yeah. Nobody's lawn in the apartment, man. <laughs> lawn vibes, man. <laughs> Some fucking artwork here. Yes, man. Getting fucking feely. Techno. Today, we unite as equals with one common goal, to vibe until our heart's content. Let us judge our time here, not by the feels we feel, but by the feels we give to those around us. Feels, stand fucking by the vibes, because shit is going to get fucking lively. In fucking Volved. Volved, but I'm naughty, man. Yeah, we're fucking doing it. Just more vibes before everyone gets here, right? Okay, I'm gonna read this shit. Some sick cunt words here, man. <clears throat> Let's go. You have the world at your feet. Do more, experience more. Enjoy the ride, but don't lose sight of your dreams. Do not let time, man, or experience diminish the sense of limitless ambition you felt as a child. Convert the pessimists and cynics the only way it can be done by showing them the beauty of the world and nurturing within them a deep appreciation for life. Just be an optimist, not for the sake of it, but because you fucking should be. You are the luckiest cunt in the world simply to be alive. That is a gift. Show gratitude the only way you can by realising your full potential. 
and having sick parties and vibing and also we've got a new Casio, sweet in it. Sweet little Casio vibes. Peasant watch. Right, listen right, everyone, that's that's my cute girl. Get away. And then that's me, that's just cute. That's my friend Stevie, say hi Stevie. Hey, why is that have locked me? Okay. Wow, I'm tidy man. I'm tidy with the Say hi. Twenty seventh. So party was uh, overall a success. There's some minor, minor damage to the apartment, so we have incurred penalties towards the uh, deposit. But I feel like quite good. I just fucking video myself. Is that all right? <laughs> Scouts for. Oh, it's weird, isn't it? So um, obviously next day we're gonna go in search of some like horrific, like dirty ass food and that. So I'll pick up with some kind of like minging shit lad food porn. Okay. See you in a bit. Yeah, that's happening, man. You know Cheerios on a burger? How oh, is it, lad? That's a happy lad, man. Happy guy. It's happening as well, man. Solid shit, man. Doggy lads. Happening, fellas. Just uh, checking in on my way to the gym. Taking a little detour past the docks so that I can, you know, get some like scenic backgrounds in for you, isn't that? Naughty scenic vibes. It's a fucking beautiful day. Uh, okay, let's go. A couple of announcements. Basically, after the all that food porn shit you will have seen yesterday. Kind of leads my in, leads me into my uh, first little announcement, which is that I'm not tracking macros anymore, um, and you know it's kind of might come as a bit of a shock because I've been quite a uh, 
little fucking public ambassador of IFM for a while because you know I do think it's it's fucking very valuable and everyone should probably at least go through a phase or at least do it. You know, everyone can utilize it um, and, and should and should at least learn about it anyway. Um, however, I've got to the point where I just see food as like fucking numbers, man. And I'm just not, I'm just bored of it, you know what I mean? I just, can't be asked like looking at something and immediately trying to judge how much it fucking weighs and therefore how many calories are in it. But yeah, it's come a bit, it's come to a bit of a point where it's just like obsessive and like, I can't look at things, I can't enjoy things without thinking about that anymore. And yeah, so I'm just gonna like, not track macros for a bit and just try and make sensible fucking decisions, you know. And still, obviously I've got some kind of knowledge of like what's in stuff and that, so. I'm just gonna do that for a while and I know it's not optimal for my physique but you know I feel like it's not possible to have I feel like to have an optimal life you can't be optimal in every area so you have, you have to have more of an optimal balance which is you know taking your focus off some areas and on some areas and shit and that's how I feel my physique is one of those areas that I'm willing to kind of um, you know take the focus off a little bit because <clears throat> I feel like physique it's like kind of riches or like kind of material things. I think once you've got a certain level, you know, it's easy to get stuck in thinking, oh, the next level up would be, the next level up would make me happy. But then I think a lot of the time it's like going to be a case of you get there and you think, oh, you know, what now? It's kind of carrot on the end of the stick kind of thing. Um, obviously, once you're past a certain level. And yeah, I think maybe if I woke up tomorrow with fucking a men's physique, you know, like a Steve Cook physique or a Sadiq physique. I think I'd be happy with it for a little bit, but only about like five minutes, then I'd be like, meh, shit, now I have to get to like the next level. And I don't want to get too caught up in focusing on chasing that thing which I know isn't going to make me that, you know, that much happier. And so, yeah, that's the shit, man. Um, apart from that, going to Ireland on Wednesday, it's now Monday, uh, doing a bit of a little trip to Dublin to meet Rob Lipset because uh, I think he's a cool dude and I'm just gonna like try and convince him to um, you know come to come to Australia with me and like be my girlfriend and take pictures of each other holding like watermelons on the beach and stuff so yeah a bit of a collab coming up with uh, Rob I'm going early Wednesday morning coming back late Thursday night so uh, if you're around Dublin or can be around at that time then Get the fuck involved, come meet Joey D, because uh, I promise you he's a fucking nice guy, you know? Nah, he's not all the time. Can be a cunt, but nice guy most of the time. Or at least some of the time. Uh, okay, that's it, pretty much. I think that's all the announcements that I got for now. Apart from that, another announcement. It's fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful day. Uh, another announcement. How shit am I at YouTube, man? I'm proper shit at it. Probably like, don't upload anything for out for like, day, like weeks and weeks and that. And then, like, I'll put a few videos out in a week and that, but the thing is, like, my kind of um, thought process with this is, I don't know, maybe I'm making excuses for myself, maybe I'm just a shit YouTuber and I haven't got the work ethic of, like, Guzman and that, but the way I see it, the way I approach YouTube, I don't want to be thinking, like, sit around thinking, what can I make a video of? I'd rather be living my fucking life and then when something's worth filming, just grab the fucking camera and do it, do you know what I mean? Because I feel like otherwise it's going to, like, diminish the quality of my videos if I'm having to make a video purposely for the sake of making a video. Um, so that's my excuse, but I don't know, maybe I'm just a shit guy, maybe I'm just shit at YouTubing, but... You know, it is funny, like, walking around filming yourself and, like, people just staring at you and shit, thinking, who's this weird guy? But it's dead good as well, it's dead, like, strangely, like, liberating, I kind of enjoy it. At first, like, I turn the camera on and people look at me and I'm kind of, like, nervous about it, but then, like... You get that used to it and into it and you feel like, you know what, actually, you can do what you fucking want at school. That's, uh, you know, whatever. Alright, so have a good fucking day. I'm going to go to the gym, do some fucking cardio and then go back later, do legs and try and get rid of all these fucking, like, pizza cows that I went hard on yesterday. Right, over and out, I'll pick up for uh, start of the next vlog soon. Bit. They see me rolling. They hating. Jordy Lenny is my hero!